Hey everybody, I'm super excited to introduce a new project car. At least I hope it will be a project car for a while. Uh, I just bought the 66 Fastback. Um, it's, I guess, super rough, but it's all there. It's a six cylinder, three speed manual. Uh, it's been sitting for at least 10 years. It looks like maybe even more than that. And it's rough, it needs basically all the body work somebody could possibly need to give it, but the way Fastbacks are these days, it just had to go for it. I've always loved the 65, 66 Fastbacks, and this is this is what I've got. Um, let's see, so it's, yeah, originally black interior car, and it's still kind of there, with all those wrong seats, wrong steering wheel, wrong shifter. Um, what is it? It's a, I can't remember the name of the color right now, it's a kind of a reddish orangish color. Uh, it's been, I think it's been restored at some point in its life because it's got some bad body work here and there. You can see the fiberglass down in there. You got holes, holes there. You got more bad fiberglass work over there. You can see patchwork popping around the wheel arches, fenders. The bottom of the floors, definitely rusty. See the carpet, but floor pans are easy. They're easier, I guess. Quarters are harder. Frame rails are harder yet. And I think what I'm gonna do, I guess I don't I really have a plan for this, but I think what I'm gonna do for now, just to kind of build some I don't know, motivation, excitement for myself, for the car, is I might try to get this thing running just the way it is. Looking at it, it's fairly complete. Um, it's, I, I think it is complete. Got a carburetor, spark plugs are all there. Plug wires. So what I'm thinking is disconnect the fuel line from the tank, drop a battery in it. Oh, let's see if it's free. I haven't even checked that yet. Let's see. Yep, it will turn. Maybe we'll put a little, pull the plugs out, oil the cylinders. And yeah, let me, uh, let me grab some tools and grab a battery, pull the plugs and see what happens. Here are the plugs and they look fairly terrible. As you might expect, oil fouled, fuel fouled, not good. I got a good can of fogging oil here. We're gonna spray down each cylinder. Give it a little lube. Uh oh, they're out. And see what happens. Hey, grabbed a battery. Let's uh, connect it up and see what happens. Hopefully nothing. No sparks flying yet. I uh, should check the oil. It's got some in there, so that's good enough for now. Uh, is it in neutral? Let's see. Uh, seems like it. Yep, that's got to be neutral. All right, plugs out, battery hooked up in neutral. Let's bump the starter button here and see what happens. Not much. Probably have bad connections everywhere. Try it again. Who knows if my battery's any good. All right, let me uh, regroup and try again here in a second. Well, that was a complete failure. I got nothing. Uh, I've been messing with it for the last half hour or so. Jumped it every different way, replaced the starter solenoid, found a couple less bad battery cables around here. Didn't help. Pulled the starter off. Tried to use a battery to just check and see if it would spin. But I think the starter's bad. 
and I'm not really interested in buying a new starter for this engine. So I guess we're moving on. No, no fun getting the thing running. Um, what else can I show you about the car? It's got really ugly wheels on it, but it does have an eight inch rear end, which is good. The, still, the front is still the stock four lug drum brakes. So that'll get replaced. Hopefully that rear end is good. Uh, let's look in the interior a little bit. I honestly haven't even been under the car since I got it. Like I said, it's a black interior, factory black interior, manual transmission. Obviously not the stock steering wheel. Uh, what else does it say it has? Uh, let's see. Show is 9600, so we can assume that's 109 or so, probably. It does have a pretty serious hole in the floor. Um, got almost all the fastback seat parts. I'm missing the one panel in the back, but most of the fastback parts are in here. Headliners busted, falling down, as you could expect. And what else? I don't know. I think, let me know. I don't know what to do with this thing right now first. I hate to tear it all apart right away and look at a project for the next five years. Um, I'm kind of thinking, take the carpet out of it, patch the floor, floor pans up, and then uh, dig around my place here and see what I've got for parts. I've got a 302 and five speed. Maybe that's what I should just put in this. Get it on the road and uh, drive it like it is for a little bit before it completely uh, gets torn apart for a restoration. I guess that's the idea. Who knows? I gotta think about it some more. I've only had it for a week, so plans can change. I just like looking at that roof line. That's the best part. All right, I might keep monkeying with this here a little bit, but uh, Talk to you later. All right, well, Grace and I decided to push it outside today and uh, open the doors up and get a better look at the interior. I literally have not even been in this thing, haven't sat in it. Uh, as Grace just said, it's junk, but we're gonna make, try to make it not junk. So why don't you come on over here, Grace, and peek in here. And uh, maybe, should we go ahead and pull the seats and carpet and see what's in there? See if we can make it a little less gross. All right, let's uh, go around, open up the other door. Yeah, there's uh, at least one mouse skeleton in here we can see. I don't know what these seats are out of. Definitely not Mustang. And it doesn't, it might not be the original carpet either. All right, let's, uh, Anything good? Grace just flipped the back seat up for the first time. No completely dead animals in there, but doesn't look too bad. Gotta get rid of the ugly mo wheels here, I guess. Get rid of them. Well, on this side, the seat bolts are gonna be a lot easier to get to because the floor pan is completely gone. There should be a panel here between these bolts and the ground, and it's gone. Well, Sadie seems like a new car, right, Sadie? Is it good? at these floor pans or what's left of them there's really really no floor pan left here the only question I got in my mind is whether I have to do a full floor or patch it but every uh, little glimpse I get here it looks like it's gonna need a, a full floor pan and the frame rails down on the bottom don't look good either I want to vacuum this in a second but you can see the fiberglass there. I think that's all fiberglass, not metal. Good stereo system. Wow. Well, Grace, should we vacuum and see what's there? Sure.
back in the garage tonight. Uh, I, I just jacked the car up. I wanted to get a better look underneath the thing, you know, when I bought it. It was hard to see underneath. I didn't really get under it other than just looking at the floor pans, which I could tell were bad, and the rear frame rails. So grabbed a flash flashlight here, got my creeper. Uh, let's just take a look underneath and see how bad everything really is. So like I said, I could see frame rails were bad when I bought it, but you know, the rest of it up here just looks like surface rust. Let's see what this side looks like. That looks way worse. But that's not completely terrible. All right, let's get a look at the torque boxes here. You can see that's pretty bad. Pretty bad rust. That would definitely need replaced. Floor pans, we knew were bad. Here's the front floor pan support or frame rail extension, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. Here you can see the frame rail separated. Actually, the outer rockers don't look terrible. The doors, I didn't show those, but I think the doors have been replaced at some point. They're actually really nice. No, no rust in the bottom of them. And let's see, let's see. Front frame rail, you can see right up here, it's separated and rusty. So yeah, I think we can say it's rusty. Carrying on here with shock towers, bad. What I want to see is if how much rust is up in, oh no. That's really not good. So that is all smashed in. That should not be pushed in like that. This should be straight all the way up through here. That top cowl is rusted. That's really not good. Let's look at the other side. Well, this side is not smashed in at least. This is straight like it should be. Well, there's some rust in there. Can't really see the top of the cowl. The outer part of the frame rails here don't look too bad, but that's that other side is really bad. Here's the inner frame, not too bad, doesn't look terrible. Can't really see where it's damaged here from this side. Top part of the cowl, there's a little bit of rust up there in that corner. Now that I look, and you can see it in that corner too. Well, what does this mean? I was hoping floor pans, rear frame rails kind of patch those in, front frame rails kind of patch those in, but now looking at the cold car better, it's Pretty much needs the entire floor pan, entire rear frame rails and torque boxes, front frame rails, the front floor pan extension where it goes up under the dash. Man, I don't know. I gotta think about this one some more. Looking for a little bit of a project, but this is if you look at the sheet metal that I can keep, <laughs> the the roof, roof structure, trunk lid, hood, hood, and that may be about it. Cowl, inner and outer, needs replaced. I think I showed the the fender aprons before; they need replaced. 
there's actually not too much here that's doesn't need replaced that's kind of discouraging a little bit a little bit so i don't know i guess i'm gonna think about it and maybe this could become just a flip car i didn't want to do that look for one of these forever but this may be more than i'm more than i'm looking for